Okay, so as we leave geometry and move on to trigonometry, we find that not all angles are going to be given to us in measured by degrees. Sometimes the, the measure of the angle will be measured in radians. So how do we switch back and forth from those two ideas? Well, let's start with this. Let's start with this picture, I guess. Here's this picture. That's a very nice circle there, buddy. Uh, and we have this angle in standard position. Standard position of an angle says that the vertex is at the origin, the initial ray is on top of the x-axis, and that our angle opened counterclockwise to this terminal angle, to this terminal ray. So here's the initial ray here, here's the terminal ray here, here's the vertex at the point zero, zero, and we opened it this way. All right, so we say that we have, let's start with this. Let's start with 150 degrees, and your professor says to you, well, what is 150 degrees in radian measure? Well, first off, we know that he or she asks you, is calling this 150 degrees and not 150 radians because of this degree sign. So keep in mind, if you don't see degrees, if you just see 45, where you used to be, I guess, very comfortable with the idea that this must mean degrees, if it doesn't say degrees, it means radians. So make sure that if you mean degrees, that you write degrees. Otherwise, you're, you're communicating in radians. So what we have, if we're going to switch this over to radian measure, we're going to move this over to radian measure of 150 degrees, is we have this little multiplier. And what you're going to do is we're going to do this every single time. When you want to convert degrees to radians, you're going to multiply by pi over 180. So we can cross cancel here, can't we? Uh, let's see, 30 goes into this five times, 30 goes into this six times. So this is five, this is six. We multiply and we have five pi six. Five pi six radians equals 150 degrees. No degree sign here, so it must be in radians. Degree sign here is my proof that I mean degrees here. So here we have radians equaling degrees. Let's try another example. Let's try another example. You'll get really, really good at this. Yeah, you really will. This is not a big deal at all. You'll get great at this. It's just one of the things you have to practice. You've got to remember this multiplier. So let's take this one. Let's take 120 degrees. Uh, and your professor asks you, what is 120 degrees in a radians? And you say, I like 120 degrees, it's good for me, but that's not going to be good enough. So what you're going to be forced to do is use your multiplier. And remember, your multiplier, stop the video, please write this down. All you have to do is remember, just multiply by pi over 180. Simplify, if you can. And here we can, this is 2, isn't it? 60 goes into this twice, 60 goes into this three times. So we get 2 pi thirds. 2 pi thirds radians is equal to 120 degrees. So here's our radians. So, and that's exactly how you would have said that. You would have said 2 pi third radians. Radians. Uh, I, I guess I had one more example I can share with you. So let me share this one more example with you. Uh, this example looks like this. We have 225 degrees. And your professor wants to know, well, how many radians is that? Uh, radians are about, what is it, like 57, 57 degrees per radian, 57 and change, something like that. Mm -hmm. It's not, that's not a good way to do it. I mean, I guess you could if you, if you were forced to, but we're going to use our multiplier again. Our multiplier, just like it was in the last two problems, is pi over 180. So pi over 180. I had to do a little bit of thinking on this problem. Um, 225 and 180. Uh, 45, maybe. 45. 45 goes into this. Five times. You're going to put something in my comment area if I screw this up, aren't you? Uh, I think this is 5 times 45, and I think this, I know this is 4 times 45, and I, I'm positive this is true, that this angle is 5 pi force radians. So 5 pi force radians is equivalent to 225 degrees. All right? All right. Um, good. Good, 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 good. I wonder how we're doing for time here. You know what, let's go ahead and just keep moving, if you don't mind. Let's let's do it the other way around. Let's say, what if your professor hands you radians? So now we're going to start with radians, and we'll go from radians to degrees. Let's see if we can get this done. Radians to degrees. Uh, it's a very, very similar process, as I'm sure you can imagine. Um, let's look at this. So your professor says to you, Frankie, even though that's not your name, uh, 7 pi force 
is equal to how many degrees? You go to blank degrees. It's not negative. It's blank. Some amount of degrees. You're going to do the, uh, something very, very similar to what you did before. Instead of using a multiplier of pi over 180, you're going to use a multiplier of 180 over pi. A good way to remember this is, look, what's going to happen with this value of pi and this value of pi are going to cancel out, aren't they? And these cancel, and this cancels. Uh, 4 goes into itself once. 4 goes into this 45 times. And I happen to know off the top of my head that 7 times 45, let me, my calculator is... 315 degrees. Remember, 315, not okay. This would mean 315 radians. If you didn't mean that, make sure you put degrees. So if there's a degree sign, it means degrees. No degree sign automatically. Automatically means radians. So be careful. Uh, let's do one more really quick example, and we'll wrap this up. Okay, you guys? Um, let's do this one. Let's take, um, you know, do me a favor. Stop the video after I write this. Stop the video. Try this yourself. Remember what the multiplier was. Try this yourself and see if you come back to the same answer. And, and I'll wait patiently for you here. Okay, welcome back. And we're going to multiply here. We're going to multiply by our multiplier again. Here is pi, right? This pi and this pi are going to cancel. That is to say they're going to 1 and 1, right? And we get uh, 180 divided by 3 is 60. 60 is our answer. 60, 60 is our answer. I hear you. 60 degrees is our answer. So we know that pi thirds is equal to 60 degrees. We have a second, so we can do it backwards if you want to. And we can do it this way. You can say how many how many radians is, ooh, is 60 degrees. You start with 60 degrees. And then here you'd multiply, wouldn't you? This is a multiplication sign. You multiply by 180 over pi. Wow, how did I screw that up? That's because I did it backwards. Pi over 180. How did I mess that up? Oh, wait, that's, I apologize. I really did. And, but you can see how I, 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 that was kind of destined to be that way because I see, wow, this is going to turn into this enormous thing, isn't it? So that's actually kind of uh, kismet for me. It works out good that that, that that did work out. Right? That seems more reasonable, doesn't it? And then 60 goes into itself once. 60 goes into 183 times. So we can conclude that 60 degrees is in, indeed pi thirds radians. So degrees to radians, radians to degrees. I, I really do hope this was helpful. Again, how are you going to get good at this? You're going to practice this a bunch of times, and that's how you're going to get good at it. Um, I'm looking forward to your comments. Work hard. Keep it up.